beautiful Aries and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a good day or night wherever you may be on this beautiful planet reside in. Today's video is going to be your August reading, your August monthly reading. And as usual, messages are general so they are not going to resonate with everybody. If they do not resonate to your situation, simply cast it aside, kick it to the curb, and let it go because they are not for you. However, if these messages do resonate with you, be sure to let me know down in the comments as I love hearing from you guys. Oh, excuse me. Make sure to smash that like button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, guys. This would be much appreciated. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So, ooh, we are, mm, we are waiting to balance out our internal strength, our mental space, being grounded, because, yeah, because the Six of Pentacles is balance, a, a give, a equal give and take. But I think you, ooh, you might be waiting to receive something as well. You might be waiting to receive a message or you're expecting a message and you're kind of working on um, building that internal strength. I feel as if whoever you're waiting on this message from like they make you anxious or like nervous so look okay what's in the present moment present moment for my areas please present moment for my areas please yeah. Oh, okay. So, oh, we were working on ourselves. Ooh, we journeyed off on our own to work on ourselves internally with that internal strength, getting that internal balance, that internal grounding and stability of our emotional and mental state. Okay. We had to move on from a situation. I feel as if we moved on from a person with the Six of Swords in the present moment. And we also have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So either you moved on from a person that caused you a lot of chaos and you grew. And now a new person has come into your life who is a soulmate potentially with the Two of Cups. And who really brings a lot of joy and happiness. You could see yourself building a family with this person. Or this person is going to be coming into your life. So there's two different options that are uh, presenting itself right now. Either you've already met this person, you've moved on from the past, and you've already met this person and you're working with them. You're working on building a family with them or building up together. Or you're going to be meeting this person. What's in the most likely outcome? What's in the most likely outcome? Most likely outcome for my Aries, please. Okay. Okay. So, I feel as if maybe like your ex is going to be coming back and trying to start problems with the five of wands. Um, with these all in line, this is presenting itself as like your past relationship. This column here, so the strength card, the moving on, and this disharmony is um, you had to have the internal strength to move on from this person. And yes, it was sad, but you did move on. But I feel as if they might pop back up to try to start problems because I think they're watching you. And I think they see you're doing good. Um, with that, um, go within to handle the situation. Like, uh, don't openly start arguments or 
feed into that lower vibration because that's not going to do anything but cause you to drop your vibration. So definitely go within, talk it with, talk about it with your partner, say, hey, you know, my ex is doing this, blah, 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 just to start crap. And then don't worry because justice is going to be served. Karma is going to take care of this person. So just keep doing you. Focus on building this relationship up with this partner that you have or building yourself up at, up until you meet this person because so far August for all the zodiac signs has been love based like love is coming in for everybody so just just be careful about this ex person coming back and trying to start chaos because they see you're doing good with this new partner so just be mindful of that um, and don't lash out, don't cause any more drama, don't feed into that negative vibration that they bring to you. Just talk it with your partner now and say, hey, this is what's going on and karma will take care of the rest. So let's go ahead and get your advice card. Uh, as usual, this could have something to do with the reading. It does not have to. It's just whatever your guides would like you to know at the time you are watching this video. So what advice do you have for my Aries um, for the month of August? What advice do you have for my Aries for the month of August, please? What advice do you have for my Aries? Thank you. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So trust in this new relationship that's coming in, or if you haven't met this, or trust in the relationship that you are building with this new person, or if you haven't met this new person, trust that this person is going to be making its way to you. And then when you do get into, or if you, if you do get in a relationship, with this person just be mindful of this ex coming back and then to trust your partner with letting them know what's going on confide in each other and trust in each other and that's gonna how that's gonna be how you're gonna get through this and karma is going to take care of the rest so that is your monthly read for all the beautiful Aries out there if this resonated with you please let me know down in the comments down below as I love hearing and interacting from you guys smash the like button and if you're not already please subscribe to the channel guys as always Mwah. Much love to you.